Hi, my name is Kevin Cavell and I'm a product manager at Keysight Technologies. Today I'd like to show you our new N6785A SMU. It's a higher power version of the SMUs that we came out with in June of 2010 and we'll be testing a tablet. Here's the new N6785A SMU. Uh, you can notice it's a double wide module as opposed to single wide, so it actually does take two slots in the mainframe. I'm going to go ahead and install this in the mainframe now. Now that I have the new N6785A higher power SMU installed in our mainframe, I'll explain our setup. So we have our DC power analyzer mainframe. It's the N6705B from Keysight. In channel one, we have our new N6785A SMU. It is connected to our tablet. Uh, we removed the battery of the tablet and replaced it with this uh, N6785A SMU. The new SMU goes up to eight amps, so it can power higher power devices such as tablets. Uh, I also have in channel three, our N6781A SMU. It's our older one. It goes up to three amps. Uh, and today, I'm using it in current measurement mode where we're passing the current from our charger through the SMU to measure the current only. And uh, finally, we'll be using the 14585A software to interface with the DC Power Analyzer mainframe to set up our measurements and then analyze the results. Now we're looking at the Keysight 14585A software that interfaces with the N6705B DC Power Analyzer. You can see we have an uh, instrument control flyout window, which actually shows you the front panel display of the DC power analyzer. I've set up the test uh, so that we're providing the battery voltage of 4.2 volts on output one. That's the N6785A SMU that's connected to the tablet's battery input. And then on output three, you can see this is the N6781A in measure only mode, which is measuring the five volts that's being provided by the charger. I've also set up the data logger. We're gonna take uh, a five minute measurement and during this measurement, we'll look at the current that's flowing from the N6785A to the, uh, the tablet. Uh, that's the battery current and we'll also be looking at the voltage from the charger and the current from the charger. And we're using the data logger because this is a longer term measurement of five minutes and we'll be able to see everything synchronized in time. So we'll be able to see the interaction between the battery and the charger. So when we plug in the charger, you'll see the battery current go down uh, as the charger takes over powering the tablet and vice versa when I disconnect the charger. So the data logger is a great tool for taking measurements from minutes to hours to even days. Uh, today our measurement is going to be five minutes long and we're just going to look at the interaction between the battery, the charger, and then the battery consumption during certain functions of the tablet such as streaming music. So all I need to do is go down to the data logger start button at the bottom. I'll click on that and we'll start to see our strip chart of measurements. Currently you'll see the current on channel one as zero because the output is off at the moment and the current on channel three is also zero because I have not plugged in the charger. I'll go ahead and turn on the tablet and we should see the current on output one go up as the tablet begins to turn on. Oh, first I need to turn on the output. That'll help if we actually have the four volts on our tablet. I'll press the on button of the tablet and we should see the current begin to flow. Okay, now we have some current flowing on output one, which is the battery. Again, uh, output three is showing zero because the charger is not connected yet. But you can see 
the current jumps up as the tablet begins to boot and uh, becomes ready for use. This takes a few seconds, so we'll just wait uh, while that happens and then we'll begin to interact with the tablet. All right, now the tablet has fully booted. We'll go in and uh, we'll begin to do some functions. Um, I'll open up an application. And uh, right now we're actually on the uh, 3G network. So we're not connected to a Wi-Fi network. So the current consumption you'll see is probably a little bit higher than if we were running off of uh, Wi-Fi. So let's stream some music uh, for a few seconds on uh, the 3G network to see the power consumption. And then I'll switch the tablet over to Wi-Fi and we'll see if the current consumption goes down. Uh, it should do that. So as the streaming music application is running, or it's loading up, we can also see some uh, higher currents as that loads. All right, we have our streaming music going and I'm raising the volume, so you should also see some increase in current as I raise the volume. Our 3G connection in here uh, in this room isn't so great, so you hear the music actually stopped for a second. So let's uh, take this opportunity to switch the tablet over to Wi-Fi. All right, now that we're switched over to Wi-Fi, our connection came back and we can hear some music playing again. I'm going to lower the volume all the way down. We should see the current go down as, uh, for that as well as the current going down because now that we're on the Wi-Fi network instead of the 3G network. So the reason I'm doing all these things is uh, you can see how different interactions with the tablet will change the power consumption. This is really great for designers of tablets to understand how their device is consuming power and then to optimize that to increase the battery life as much as possible. Okay, so now that we have some music going, uh, let's say we have to charge our battery. I'm going to plug in our charger. And we should see the battery current drop down and the charger current go up. And that's exactly what we see here. The yellow line drops down to near zero and the blue line jumps up. Uh, we can analyze all these measurements after we're done taking them using the measurement markers. Um, they're running now as we go. You can move them around and see different uh, current levels, uh, but we'll do an analysis once the measurements are, are completed. So again, you can see that the current uh, is near zero for the battery and it's up to, let's see, about one and a half amps on the charger uh, since the charger took over. Again, if I unplug the charger, we can see the opposite occur uh, where the charger current goes down and the battery current goes up. So we have a few more minutes left in our data log. Let's uh, stop here and we'll come back once all the measurements have been completed. So we're done taking our five minute measurement using the Keysight 14585A software connected to our DC power analyzer mainframe uh, using our new higher power SMU, the N6785A, as well as our older lower power SMU, the N6781A. You can use this solution to do a whole bunch of different tests and experiments on any battery powered device to understand how your device is consuming power. Uh, we hope you can take a look at some of the more of the videos that we have online and we appreciate you watching.